Every year, the elves work overtime, but when they can't keep up, they call on toy maker Bob Whitmore. Now let's spend some time in Bob Whitmore's toy shop. Well, hello, hello, hi, kiddos, welcome. I'm uh, I'm I'm Robert W. Whitmore. You know who I am. We come to you via on the D's here, as you come by and visit us. And you know, uh, I I got a little little letter, a little letter there from a very good friend of mine, Marilyn Dibus. And Marilyn says that uh, the, her husband, she's married there, has a husband that he loves ties. So I've been reading this book about dying ties, and I thought we'd go back to the workshop here, and uh, we'll just we'll make some. I tell you, ties are a perfect gift. Although if you got an uncle, Uncle Louie or something, don't give him a tie every year. I mean, give him a tie one year, and then the next year give him a Corvette or something. But not please, not every year. Oh no. Listen, I'll meet you back in the toy lab, the work work lab building, and we'll dye a tie. Electric tools such as saws and drills are for big folks, moms and dads, and master toy makers like Bob Whitmore. Remember, play it safe and let adults handle all big tools. Well, hi, kiddos. I'm in a little room off the workshop here, and we're going to dye some ties. So the first thing we want to do is we want to fill up a bowl here and uh, get plenty of water. And we're going to take a tie and dye it. I've been, I've been very interested. I've heard about this for a while. Now, I've got my ties over here. I, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump into that. Uh, look, we take the tie that we're going to, to dye, and we... I wish I knew how to do this better, but we, we're going to slap it around in the dye. Now, this was a white tie, and we're going to dye it green. Now my hands are all green. Look if Debbie's here. Deb- Debbie, look how green my hand is. Ew, yuck! Listen, we got any tiles? Towels. Tiles, yes. Tiles? I need a ba- ba- bathroom tile. Towel. Tile? Towel. Tile. Tile. All right, get me one, would you please? I need to clean my hand. Look, I bet Lou has the instructions on that. Let's give Lou a call. I'll meet you up front. Anyway, let, let's ring up old Lou Philpot. Philpot, sleep hard. Hello, hello, Louis. My what more? Hi there, you handsome devil. I seen your picture there in the South North Pole Gazette paper, newspaper there. You, oh, yeah, you, yeah, the uh, business section, yeah. yeah. No, you bowled that perfect game oh, down, no. at, down, at the, down at the Cajun Bowling Building. Boy, boy, I was lucky that night, Bob. Boy, that's just perfect game. That perfect game. See, I'm having trouble again here. I'm trying to tie tie dye. Tie dyeing, yes, it's, it's very popular again this year. Well, yes, I'm trying to make some tiny T-shirts there for the little tiny tie tiny t- 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 tiny tiny kids, yeah. tiny little tots, kids. Yeah. the little kids, and I did what I'm tie dyeing. I also have some ties that have to be tie uh, dyed. No, no, so Bob, I'm, Bob, no, no. I'm no, dying my that's ties. Not, that's not what they mean by t- you don't use ties to tie dye. Well, how Bob. can you dye tie dye well, dye ties the, the if idea, you don't? The, the idea is that you tie up the shirts Ooh. and then you dip them in the dye and then you untie the shirts and the designs are irregular. That's the idea. You well, no, I bought irregular shirts. I got them. Uh, those ones I ordered no, on Bob, invoice twelve oh four. The designs are irregular. Therefore, every shirt is different. Now, wait, I saw some child down there at the grocery. It looked like he had a bulls. It looked like he'd been splattered with circular paint. That's that's the book that's that you're right. looking for. I didn't. I, well, yes. I thought you I bought a whole bunch of Gucci ties at about a hundred no, bucks no, each. Bob. I've been dipping them in paint. No, I, I'm afraid that uh, once again you've misunderstood. Because I take, I knew you tied them, but I took the ties and I tied dyed and I tied up the ties and I, dipped them in the dye and then I tied up and I took the. I was very I'm confused. I, I can I, I can tell that, yes. Uh, should I start over, Lou? I think perhaps you should start all it's over It's almost again, Christmas, you know. Maybe you can find somebody that you can palm off those ties onto. So you do wouldn't want one, would you? Uh, Go I good with your one. bowling shirt. Yeah, my my wife gets me one every Christmas. Well, thanks, Lou, and have a, a have happy a happy holiday, holiday there. You know, this is odd. Yesterday I mentioned that I saw a letter. Somebody wanted a sandbox. I was joking if it was for a cat. But here's a, here's a guy who wants a kitten, Dwayne Folsen, Folsen Logel. 
Dwayne Folsom logo says he wants a kitten. Let's see what else they got. I know down at the post office, they got tons of requests. South North Pole Post Office. Well, hi, Danny. How are you? Hi, Bob. Say, I got your call there, Danny. I'm sorry I wasn't in. You'd called when you wanted information on racing cars? Yeah. You tell old Santy there when you drop him a line that you won the KS44. He'll know what it is. KS44? Okay. And now, if you, do you have a preference for colors? Uh, I like blue. Well, then that's a KS44 slash B. Slash B. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if I wanted the green, it'd be slash G? No, R. Well, that makes sense. Well, that's because green's the regular color. Oh, okay. And then if you wanted in yellow, you'd put slash O, because that's the other color. <laughs> well, what's the standard color? We don't have one. Oh, okay. It, but uh, we used to have the, the blue one is fine, but I, I use most of that in coloring shoes. Oh, for your blue shoe glue. That's another story. Listen, could you put some clown on the line there? We'd, we'd sure would like some letters. Well, today's dress up day, we've got a clown standing right here. <laughs> for heaven's sake. Here you go. Okay, here we go. Lydia Stamper of Nitro, California, says she wants a series of children's books to give to her granddaughter. Nelson R. Nelson of Nelsonville, Idaho, says he would like a year's supply of super glue because he keeps breaking everything in his apartment. And Sissy McGuire of Dennis, Massachusetts, says she wants a map of Cape Cod because she has been lost since she moved there 12 years ago. That's it from here. Tell you what, let, let's call Santa Claus's house. Hello, St. Nicholas's residence. Hello, oh, say, hi there. Is this Mr. Muffin? Yes, is this Mr. Whitmore? Yes, what now, does? Oh, joy or ecstasy. How may I help you, Mr. Whitmore? Yes, Mr. Muffin, I still... After tens of attempts calling every day, the kiddos are just anxious. We have never once, any time, ever gotten through to Sandy. This is highly unusual, Mr. Whitmore. Let me patch you through at my earliest convenience. Well, I'm sitting here with anticipation. Santa Ana Water Department. Uh, uh, do, where did I reach, please? This is the Santa Ana Water Department. Uh, Santa Ana? Yes, sir. <laughs> I was trying to reach uh, Santa Claus. No, sir. This is the Santa Ana Water Department. Uh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. <laughs> that is absolutely inconceivable. Well, listen, we've, we've got a couple of uh, tries left here, so goodbye, kiddos. Remember to join us again when it's time again for another visit to Bob Whitmore's Toy Shop. This is the Shrevikman Radio Network, your network for the 1988 Winter Olympics.